that's what we agreed as an outcome of today's meeting on Guinea-Bissau. Uh, the members of the Council expressed their serious concern over the political impasse in Guinea-Bissau and urged national stakeholders to implement the Conakry Agreement on the implementation of the ECOWAS roadmap to resolve the political crisis in Guinea-Bissau, agreed by political leaders on 10 September 2016 in Bissau. The members of the Council stressed the urgent need to ensure the inclusive dialogue among key national actors to ensure effective functioning of the government and welcomed continued non-interference of security forces. The members of the Council called on all sides to refrain from inflammatory rhetoric and to take appropriate measures to de-escalate the situation. The members of the Council called on all parties to cooperate to ensure proper functioning of the Popular National Assembly to pass key reforms. The members of the Council called upon the national authorities to expedite the review of Guinea-Bissau's constitution. The members of the Security Council commanded ECOWAS engagement, particularly the ECOWAS security mission in Guinea-Bissau, ECOMIP, in enhancing stability in Guinea-Bissau. They encouraged ECOWAS to maintain ECOMIP presence beyond June 2017 and further encourage international partners to consider extending their support in this regard. The members of the Council welcomed the initiative to send ECOWAS mediation mission uh, to Bissau. Sorry, mediation. Uh, the members of the Security Council urged donors to engage and support an inclusive national dialogue and stressed the need for a functioning government in Guinea-Bissau to work to restore the confidence of development partners by resolving the political impasse. The members of the Council expressed concern over challenges posed by transnational organized crime and other emerging threats including drug trafficking in the country. The members of the Council expressed their support to Special Representative Touré and requested him to continue to work closely with all stakeholders for the resolution of the political crisis in Guinea-Bissau. They also voiced their support for the UN Secretary General's recommendation to extend the mandate of the Union bis for another year. Thank you. Consultations. Was there any discussion of possible sanctions on on those either holding back the stabilization of the country or not? No. No. And you, would, if such a thing were to take place, would it be in the context of the, renewing the mandate or in some separate project process? Not that I'm saying that. If, well, if it happens, we will see. But there was no discussion. Mr. Ambassador, uh, the council called for a review of the uh, the government to parties to review the Constitution, constitutional reform. Uh, was there any discussion about a UN role in trying to promote this review? No, we didn't uh, get into such details. Uh, thank you. Uh, kind of bottom line question, Mr. President. Where are we really in promoting and encouraging a stable government in this country uh, one of your predecessors said just a few years back uh, referred to the change of uh, forcible change of government as the, the cocaine coup. Uh, what are we doing to get a, go a government that is stable and can control things like that, uh, you, you know, with, within its own territory and, and ba basically deliver for its own people? It's, if not the poorest, one of the very handful of poorest countries in Africa. Where are they right now? Well, we did, we did discuss that, but it's, it's a more sovereign thing. With, uh, uh, I will simply add that uh, uh, I will call on the best of Guinea-Bissau, and probably if Special Envoy is still in town, I will um, get in touch with them, will meet them, and, and, and deliver the same message. Uh, which is in the press elements and also the sense of our discussion with some, you know, emphasis on some basic things. Thank you. Thank you.